Hey guys, if you have ever uh, searched eBay for Velocity Systems or Mayflower, if you find a, a trick for searching Mayflower that doesn't get you a bunch of nonsense, please let me know uh, because I think there are different things available depending on how you search. Uh, but if you've ever searched either of them, this thing has probably popped up. It is the uh, plate carrying shirt from Velocity Systems. Works with their ultra low vis plates. It may or may not fit different flavors of sappy. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole uh, because it's not worth it. You either are using the intended plates or they're probably not going to sit right. So we'll get this on the table and look through the features, which there are a lot of things built into the shirt to make it carry plates better. I, I won't be putting it on uh, again, but hopefully I still have the picture uh, that I posted to Instagram a while ago so you can see kind of how it fits. Uh, but I will walk you through putting the plates in it and talk through some of the struggle of putting it on because it's a nightmare. It was not fun uh, and it's it was painful for my shoulder uh, and I don't want to do it again. So let's get on the table, take a look. All right, fair warning. I really hope I do this thing justice in keeping it in frame. One of these days I'll figure out a more conducive way to set up the camera so that I can ensure that I'm not moving things out of out of view. All right. Uh, so I bought a large uh, one of these shirts. I'm not super familiar with the plates. I have them. I don't know what size mine are. Uh, I think they're medium, and I wasn't sure if they were going to fit right. And I'm kind of convinced these don't change sizes. The shirt just changes sizes. But I could be wrong. If you're a super velocity nerd and you know different, please let me know. Because uh, I really do like Velocity stuff. I think it's very well made. I think they do a lot of interesting things. Sometimes I just don't understand why they do th the things that they do. Uh, so looking at this shirt, what was not uh, super obvious to me from any of the materials that I've seen on it, because I haven't found a, a manual for it or like a user guide or anything. I haven't looked either, though because uh, I wasn't that interested in these things. I was just always kind of curious. Uh, wasn't sure how the plates were retained. Um, turns out they're retained in a really surprising manner, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it has zippers uh, down the front that I was oblivious to, uh, and they make a lot of sense, and they make it much less of a nightmare to put on. Uh, and then it has... I think these are fairly obvious from the pictures on a lot of the sales postings it has pockets on the sides uh, that that can fit uh, a pmac fairly easily i don't know how well that's going to draw didn't want to do it i already hurt my shoulder enough trying to get in and out of this thing i was kind of over it uh at the time uh you could probably also fit a smaller radio in there which i should have handy this is not a smaller radio, uh, nor would I recommend trying this. Uh, XTS, oh gosh. XTS 2500 fits. And there might be enough stretch there. Yeah, it looks like there's enough stretch there to get around the side connector. Uh, something like a Bofang would fit in there just fine if that's more up your alley. Bofang would probably be a better option. These are kind of a, a, a brick. Um, you're going to want something kind of lightweight because you're wearing it. Um, and then there's a surprising amount of detail in just kind of the structure of this thing. Uh, because at the end of the day, I was envisioning a t-shirt holding what are some pretty heavy plates, all things considered. And I was curious how that worked. So just kind of running you through the, the layout of this, you've got mesh sides uh, to help dissipate some heat. Uh, you've got kind of a, an Under Armour-ish material for the bulk of what's going on. And then uh, over the shoulders, it's lined with this mesh uh, to help cut down on stretch of that material to keep your plates riding at the appropriate height. Uh, it, may be, it may have been more obvious to some of you than it was to me because I'm not super smart. Uh, but the, the stitching kind of follows that mesh over the shoulders and into the plate bag. I don't know how well that's showing up. I'm sorry. Uh, so it does, it does retain 
the the height of the plates way better than I thought. Like there's not a lot of sag on this shirt. It has a surprising amount of structure. Uh, so if we open up these zippers, it makes it a little bit more bearable uh, and a little bit more like putting on a plate carrier than putting on a shirt. Uh, Cause to some extent you do kind of just throw it over your shoulders. Uh, not, uh, unfortunately not enough of that in my opinion. Uh, it's still a struggle to get on. Getting it on by yourself uh, if you're relatively comfortable when you start is not super hard. Getting it off by yourself especially after you've done anything in the shirt and built up any sweat sucks. Uh, so looking inside here, you've got the plate pockets, which are not connected on kind of the bottom two thirds. And I think really why that is, is to give you some flexibility in trying to work your plate into the pocket. I don't necessarily know that it helps with putting it on. Uh, so I have the rear plate here, uh, and we can I can show you kind of how that goes in there. It's it's really nothing crazy. Uh, it is a, a pretty standard plate pocket there. So you kind of work in the top of the plate. One of these I remember was harder than the other to to close the plate pocket around. Uh, and there's there's not a lot of stretch in this. Uh, mesh down here so it's a little unnerving working that around your plates like it's not necessarily hard i just don't want to stretch it more than i have to and you got to kind of work it over one corner and then follow up with the other All right, so there's, there's the rear plate in its plate bag. And the, the first plate you do is gonna be easier than the second plate for sure. Uh, because you get kind of just enough freedom of movement there to expose the whole plate pocket, but you can't, you can't ever get it like clear of the other plate. So you always, you're, the, the first plate in is always gonna fight the second plate to some extent. Uh, so you drop the front plate in exactly the same way. And then what I had no idea this came with was these side straps here. Uh, so you'll notice the, the bottom edge of the plate pocket has this, sorry, bottom edge of the plate pocket has this loop on it. Uh, and this, this very not aggressive hook attaches to that on either side. So then once you have this on and you close your your plates or drop your plates onto you you can really lock those plates into place uh, and then zip up the sides uh, so that one that was a mystery to me that it came with those the good thought on velocity's part there uh, when i tried it on i i didn't use these and it was fairly stable but that just makes it that much better uh, it's this cool kind of neoprene foam stuff. No, no real stretch to it. Just a little bit by nature of being foam. Uh, and the super cool low profile, like Velcro tape almost. Uh, so that's, that's a neat feature there. All right. So, uh, putting it on, you, you unzip it fully and then you just kind of like get the front plate started over your head and then just kind of hopes and prayers uh stick your arms through the the arms and let it let it slide down letting it slide down is the difference uh between putting it on not being awful and taking it off being awful uh, because you don't have gravity working for you i think when i took it off uh i was having the kids try to help me and they were not not overly effective. So I ended up like kind of bending over and, and trying to dump the, the shirt off of me. Uh, but to get your arms up and let the sleeves slide past, like 
at some point, something is either, you're either not, you know, pulling a sleeve down your arm or you're not supporting plates and then it, it just kind of sucks, okay? Right? Uh, but once you have that all done, then you just close up the zippers and uh, it, it works out all right. Uh, I think it is probably the most concealed that you're gonna get rifle plates. I don't know if anybody is doing something more low profile, which would be just bananas. Um, but with the absolute hassle of putting this on and, and taking it off again, and the seams kind of already being plate carrier shaped ish, I kind of fail to see just how much benefit you get out of this versus wearing a t-shirt uh, and then as minimal of a plate carrier as you can, uh, because Velocity has made some very minimalist plate carriers with these plates, and then a cover garment on top. Uh, that seems like a much more practical setup to me. Obviously, I'm I'm not cool enough to have been issued this or or need to be issued this, and and maybe it works really good, uh, but I just I fail to, I fail to see how this could be kind of the the balance of concealment and convenience uh, because it's not convenient at all to put on. Really, really cool, awesome product, super well made, super well designed. I just, this is one of those uh, that I that I kind of hate to say, uh, not sold on the why. Um, it's also long. It's a it's a longer shirt. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Longer shirt, so you can tuck it in very effectively. I have a long torso, and I had plenty of shirt left over to tuck this thing in. Uh, so that's a win. Um, but yeah, it, it is so hard to put on and, and especially take off that I'm kind of left wondering if, I was in that position if I would find this worthwhile versus just the most minimal plate carrier that I could get away with. So there you go. Hopefully you learned something. Really cool product. Um, I guess when the world's ending, maybe I'll find a use for it. But until then, it's going to sit in a footlocker. So thanks, guys.